Hey guys, it's Drake with Extreme Sports and today we're going to go over on how to properly rinse out your dive gear after you're done diving. We want to make sure we get all the contaminants off of our PC, regulator, computer, stuff like that so we don't have any salt, dirt, stuff like that that's going to harm the PC. We want to get it nice and clean that way when we go out next time, all good and we have no problems. So when we first get out of the water, if you can leave your gear pressurized, that's going to be the key. We want to have everything pressurized, that way we don't get water back into the system, nothing like that. We don't want to worry about that. So if you leave it pressurized, we obviously want to, you know, clear out any other debris that we have. Just some quick little purges out of both the air two and the second stage, maybe an octopus, something like that. Just quickly blast them. And we're going to take our water, we want to have fresh water, and we're just going to dump it on top of it. This is dive gear, obviously. It's gonna be fine with water. We wanna make sure we get every nook and cranny that we can. Just kinda of dump water all over your BC. BC, regulator, the connector, the hoses, where our weights go in. Maybe you wanna take your weights out, go ahead and rinse off your mask, fins, snorkel, things like that at the same time. Um, but one of my tricks is while this is pressurized, just take your second stage, dump a little bit of water in there, turn it upside down, just a little bit. Same thing with your two or an octopus, dump some water in there, just like that, call it good. And we can go ahead and rinse off our computer. While we're rinsing off our computer, we can go ahead and activate the buttons and just kind of push the buttons a few times. That way, if there's any salt or debris in there, you can kind of free up those buttons. Because if that sits with salt in there, your buttons will get locked up. So just keep rinsing off everything like this. Make sure you get your cam buckle on the back side of the BC and just keep rinsing. And we'll go ahead and inflate the BCD. And while we're inflating it, you can actually dump a little water in there and inflate it. And that way, all the water that's inside the BCD will now actually settle down in the lower part. Once we disassemble our gear, we can then turn the BCD over and uh, dump it out through the deflator. So once we're at this step, we can go ahead and shut off our, our system here. Go ahead and purge our system. Take off lines, disconnect any accessories we have like our normal procedure. And of course, any time that we have the BCD unattended with a cylinder on it, we want to go ahead and lay it down. That way it doesn't fall over. But we want to go ahead and dry the dust cap here. We don't want to dry air inside of the, the first stage. We want to just dry the dust cap that's on there. That way if there is any salt or anything left over, uh, we can go ahead and blast it out uh, and then we will secure it. So let's get the cylinder back up just take it and blast a little bit. Just like that, perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and insert our dust cap back in there, lock the system down, and of course when we coil up our regulator, we just go about a foot down, grab it, make a loop, and we can carry it, stuff it in our bag. I'm gonna go ahead and set it off to the side here. But of course, I wanna lay over our, our cylinder if we're leaving it unattended. Okay. And now, we just wanna go ahead and disconnect it and do our normal disassembly procedure, just like so. And now, for us, we leave the caps off of them so we know that they are uh, indeed the air has been used in them so we will lay the cylinder over on the side and the reason we do like having boots like that the octagon boots is because it's not going to roll around on us but we want to leave our bcd now sitting just like this maybe prop it up maybe hang it somewhere that way all the water that's inside the bladder will now drain to the bottom and then we can flip it over about 30 minutes later i would say and we just hold the air two system and all your residual water that you've accumulated over the dive and uh, since you've been rinsing the system will now come out. And then of course we want to keep this stuff out of UV light so we'll go into a nice shaded area, hang up all our gear and uh, let it air dry.
But if you guys have any questions, let us know. Have a good one.